<laughs> yeah, are you ready? See. <laughs> not really. Why? Cause you nervous? I feel like it's just gonna be um, not hard, kind of hard to talk about. Yeah, I mean it'll be a little difficult to talk about. And we're just talking about a lot of personal things. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, what's up, guys? <laughs> Long time no talk, and this is gonna be like another little podcast style video, kind of like how we did a little minute ago, and you guys actually loved it. We personally loved it. I loved the way the video came out. It was fun to do and just, you know, be raw. But this is probably the rawest we're going to be in a video. We're going to talk about a lot of personal things, you know, things that we just don't talk about. Um, things that we've been avoiding. Not necessarily avoiding. I uh, know, no, yeah, yeah avoiding. Okay. No, it's just, it's, it's... It's a lot of things that we're addressing that a lot of people have been wanting to know. Mm -hmm. So a few different things and we're just going to get it all out there. And just be real. Yeah. And the reality is when bad things happen, when negative things happen, you know, for, for many it might be, but it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be social media and running the social media to talk about, you know, complications and negative things that might go on in your relationship. And when incredible things happen, when exciting things happen, usually your first thought is usually wanting to make it public. Everybody want to showcase the good stuff. Exactly. Social, of course, that's what social that's what social media is. Everybody wants to, you know, showcase the good stuff, post the good stuff. Who's really posting their failures, their bad moments? You know, nobody is. That's not what people do on social media. Yeah. So it's not normal to want to showcase yeah. bad things. But then that's also what makes it hard because I feel like, especially as a couple, people just think that your relationship is so perfect. Like yeah. we have so many people who look up to us, who look up to our relationship who thinks like you're the perfect man, I'm the perfect woman, we mm -hmm. have the perfect relationship. And just because we're on social media, that doesn't mean that we're not normal people. Yeah. And normal people have normal relationships and go through normal difficulties and normal things like that. So, mm -hmm. like I said, no one is showcasing the arguments, the the fights, the, the hard and messy stuff. But everyone is... We're all normal people. Exactly. You know? I'm, I'm sure all of our viewers know couples go through regular real life things and complications, but it's hard to visualize it if you've never experienced, like if you've never witnessed it. Like, for example, if you know somebody is extremely loyal, mm -hmm. right, it's hard to imagine them cheating. If you know them to be, if you know of them to be a cheater, yeah. it's easy to imagine them cheating. So it's like one of those things. If you don't showcase the bad, they can't really visualize it and really understand like the depth of it sometimes couples they go through real life things with that being said a big question that we've been getting for the past few months is are we still together <laughs> this it, it pisses so, me off every single i i understand the the concern and i understand and usually it stretches even further than that bro like mm -hmm. but sometimes like y'all really be reaching you know what i mean like I, I read comments of people saying did they cheat on each other like <laughs> Because they think if, like, somebody breaks up, that's that's the only reason. That's the only main reason why a couple breaks up because someone was cheating. When it could be yeah, multiple and things. It gets even worse. It gets even worse when people just automatically assume, like, we have a fake relationship because mm -hmm. we don't post. That actually, that actually blows my mind because I would think the complete opposite. If you have a couple, like, that don't post all the time minus someone who posts every single day and mm -hmm. you can clearly see they're going through things and they still continue to post every single day that would give you more of like a indicator that okay maybe this couple is faking things but if we go a month and a half to focus on our relationship mm -hmm. and to take a step back from social media people think we're faking our relationship for social media when we post two months later yeah like it make it, it actually makes zero sense to me that was a big question that we've been getting some months now are we together? Are we broken up? Because we did take a huge step back from social media and especially here on YouTube. Um, and the truth is that no, we are not broken up. <laughs> we are still Surprise. <laughs> We are still together. Um, but we're gonna be real with y'all. We were going through a very, 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 very difficult yeah. time in our relationship, um, where we were going to possibly make that decision to separate um yeah. and it was um it was a lot of things it wasn't just like one certain issue it was a lot of different things and we were going through a really really hard time where 
if our relationship is not good and we're not in a good place, how can we go in front of a camera and act yeah. like, turn off the switch and act like everything's good? So that's why we weren't posting because we're not going to sit up here. We're not going to sit up here and be fake and put on a show and act like me personally, I can't do it. Like, even when we just have little arguments, I'm like, yeah. give me a second to calm down because I'm not about to go on camera knowing that I'm angry. You know what I'm saying? So, There's videos we legit just stopped doing. Like, I remember yes. we completely scratched the whole, uh, I forgot, I think it was like a Smash a Pass video. <laughs> but, um, and you didn't get irritated over like the video, but it was like, I, I guess like I was bickering. It irritated you and we legit just scratched the whole video room. in that room. Yeah. yeah. Um, Because I just can't fake it. Me personally, yeah. I can't fake it. I'm sorry. So, like, yeah, we were going through a really um, difficult time in our relationship. And, like, our main focus wasn't YouTube. Our main focus was trying to resolve our problems, try to get back to a good place with each other, and figure out what we were doing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, and what's wrong? Like, what's... Yeah, it, and it, it's one of those things. It's like you got to experience to really understand, like, the the true depths of, like, those dark times. Those Those dark times are, like the worst things imaginable. And ours was it, like really It like, was really bad. Like bad. <laughs> it feels like it feels like you can't even like it feels like you dig yourself so deep into a hole that feels like impossible to, to come back climb, climb yeah. out of. Like it got to a point where she legit went to Chicago for like a whole two weeks and was like looking at like possible apartments. Yes. Bro. Like y'all Oh my God, see, I can't even believe like you were saying that because I was going to keep that to myself. But yeah, we were being real and honest, y'all. It was that to that point where yeah. I was literally looking for apartments by myself. Yeah. And um, I'm going to cry. I am too, bro. <laughs> like, I'm getting emotional too, yeah. Wait, wait. But, um... Wait, wait, for real. Okay. <laughs> we're not, um, hold on. Why am I, like, getting emotional about it? Was, I mean, Say it, it was, out loud. Yeah. Wait, hold on. We're not keeping none of this in the video. <laughs> I'm keeping it in. It's raw. No way. It's raw. No. I don't want to mess with my makeup. Don't look at me. And don't you cry either. I'm not. I'll keep it in, baby. <laughs> I started my study in water. Wait, I need something. Like, uh, need that thing or something? Yeah. I got some up here. My tears are like falling out. I don't want to run down my face. Thank you. You're welcome. You need more? No. See, my makeup's already ruined. It's okay, baby. <laughs> Let's just say everything with a happy connotation. So, <laughs> Okay, we're back. Um, I didn't want to ruin my makeup. Okay, so what were we? <laughs> yeah, so the I was, apartments. It was to the point where I was looking for apartments, like I said. Um, so yeah, just so you guys could get an understanding of how deep it really was for us. Yeah. So we're going through all this. We're not thinking about posting on social media and all of that. Things are obviously better because yeah. we're here today a lot better actually we've been doing really really good honestly and um yeah so i feel like our seven year anniversary is coming up and i feel like every couple who has been together for as long as we have i always feel like they go through a period like that mm -hmm. like a really bad bad period where they think like they're just that's it you know what i'm saying that's what we've been going through lately but by the grace of god like i said things have been a lot better and that leads into our next question that we've been getting which is when are we getting married oh yeah this is so <laughs> this... let's just let's just touch base on that because okay. what what happened with us it was unfortunate but what we just explained kind of explains it just within itself but we got engaged three years ago June 8th, a few days ago, yeah. marked three years. Yeah. First year, we took the first year off to we enjoy already, our engagement. Yeah, we already were saying like we wanted to wait a full year before getting married just to enjoy the engagement phase. We're calling each other fiance, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So we already didn't want to get married right away. So yeah. We wanted we wanted to get married maybe two years later, take the first year to just be engaged, mm -hmm. start planning year uh um, two. Yeah, four year two and get married at the end of year two obviously mm -hmm. that didn't happen for us and also like we started having our issues like two years ago and yeah. then we went probably like two years like kind of like button heads like a lot then we hit that like really dark stage mm -hmm. so till today we still have not yet got a chance to start planning our wedding we just spoke about it today we always mentioned it but never really like solidified it and felt like we were on the same page but i feel like we we have a good idea of what what we want to do now. We are 100% getting married. That's not going to, you know, change. But as we've gotten older, the concept of a wedding just seems like more and more like a burden. <laughs> if that, like it just seems like a hassle. It seems so like, like when we first got engaged, y'all, what, we were 23? 
Yeah. He really was like, oh, yes, I want a big wedding. I wanted doves. He like... wanted to do, like, the whole <laughs> extra stuff. I was like, uh, like, I still wanted a wedding, but not nothing crazy. I'm more like a intimate, more private, more, like, special. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, that's how I am. He just want to go all crazy, go all out. That's just how he is. But like he said, as we've gotten older, as time has passed, like, we just matured more. And I feel like you're, especially you, are realizing, like, a wedding is not about, like, the the... The fireworks, the show, it's not for other people, it's for us. You know That's what I'm saying? the thing. I feel like weddings are for other people. But it shouldn't be. <laughs> it's just, I feel like for It's our, about me and you. It's about exactly, us yeah. I feel like you 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 go all out, you spend all this money on party favors for for your guests to make sure your guests have this beautiful experience. Listen, you guys, so the plan is we kind of want to elope. We still want to do all of the things that you do. Wedding, wedding dress shopping, tux shopping i still want my groomsmen mm -hmm. you still get your bridesmaids still have a bachelorette party still have a bachelor party all of the essential things that you do we'll probably do like um like a, a party afterwards you yeah know like an like, engagement reception like or not engagement a engagement reception oh, uh, <laughs> a wedding reception yeah, still like, kind of do like get a reception married, get married in private and then have a big celebration party afterwards yeah and then just saying. drop a bag on a honeymoon bro yeah Boom, get pregnant. But yeah, so I didn't even realize you just said that. I <laughs> yeah, that's why wedding plans have been like on hold because we didn't even know if we was going to be together, period. You know what I'm saying? So our main focus was just trying to get back right before even talking about getting married. Yeah, we do avoid that question a lot. Yes. Yeah, so, we just say when the time is right. So um, now that we are in a much better place, we do want to be together. And well, we I are... mean, even when we wanted to break up, we wanted to be together. <laughs> <We> <laughs> that was the are... conversation we had. Like, I don't yeah. want to be with nobody else. I just want to be with you. But what do we do? Yeah. And it was just, it got to a point where we just couldn't fit. Like, it just felt like we couldn't figure it out. Personally, I know we're going to have issues. Like, every couple is going to have issues. Like, yeah. we're going to have our time periods where we're arguing, where we're going through it. It's not going to be perfect. It's all about building Once you that... get married, it's not like all your problems go away and you live happily ever after. Exactly. It's, just not it's like all about that. building that muscle memory of how to deal with those How to communicate, how situations. to have a healthy relationship. I feel like as we get older, we're just going to naturally do it. Because I'm not going to... I have a lot of energy and that tra sometimes that translates into our arguments. Like, I could just... <laughs> I could argue all day if you really want to. You know, as I get older, I'm going to lose a lot of that energy. <laughs> So I'm already at the point where I'm just like, I don't want to argue. So I just ignore a little bicker sometimes. And I just like, I just ignore it. Wait until I, especially when I get like 40, I'm like, I'm going to just but look like, at you and be like. Just say yes, dear. Just say yes, baby. Yes, darling. So yeah, now that we are in a better place, we are moving forward with a wedding or like what is it called? We're gonna just elope, bro. Cause I, yeah, we don't know. We're still, we're still, we're still. It's still in the talks, but most yeah. likely we'll probably just do our own private little thing. Where I'm still <laughs> going wedding dress shopping, so we're still gonna be doing videos like that. Like, trust me, we're gonna be recording everything that we do for the wedding. We'll probably even record us at the courthouse. You know, yeah. if we're if you're allowed. To, I, don't I don't think know. I'm not sure. If but you're um, still gonna do like photo shoots. Yeah. So whatever like we that. do, whatever we end up doing, we're gonna bring y'all with us. So don't worry. Um, and also another big thing that I really want to do before we really get married is counseling. Counseling. Yeah. That's a um, must. That's definitely a must. Yeah. So pre what is pre-marriage counseling? Pre-marital counseling. Yeah. Yeah. So I brought that up so long ago, like a few years ago, and I really wanted to do it. At first, he wasn't super open to it, but now like he's become more open to it. I mean, I've always been open to it. I feel like, especially when we first started having our issues, I didn't feel like it was something we needed at the time. But then when we got like, <laughs> You're when, like we, oh, shoot, we, when we, we really got bad, bro, I'm like, yeah, we can't navigate this like ourselves. And yeah. that's when that's when it really hit me like, OK, we need this. Yeah, I feel like I, I recommend it to anybody. And I, yeah, even I'll be you... more of a uh, what is it called? Like, I'll maybe I could stand by it a little more after we start to yeah. see like how it, you know, helps us right yeah. now. I don't know. But even if you don't have issues issues or you don't think you have big roadblocks in your relationship i feel like every couple should do it you know what i'm saying like at least try it out even um, individual therapy yes i really want to do individual therapy as well because your individual your own problems could be the reason why you can't have a healthy relationship because yeah. you have your own personal issues that you don't even know you know what i'm saying yeah. so that's something that i really really want to do and we will definitely let y'all know once we start because we are going to start and yeah i'm looking forward to that because i feel like We've already done a lot of work ourselves, like together. 
and I feel like um, we came a long way, but you can always be better. Yeah. So. I mean, as human beings, we have flaws, so I mean, there'll never be perfection, but as long as it's satisfaction, <laughs> I'm satisfied. <laughs> okay, now moving into the next big question that I never really address. Hazel, why don't you wear your ring? Oh my gosh, she's not wearing oh. her ring in this picture. <laughs> yeah. Oh my See, gosh, she's not wearing her ring in this video. They're really broken up. They're broken up. Y'all, listen. I'm not even saying this in a cocky way. My ring is big, okay? This thing gets caught on so many things. Sometimes it's just annoying to wear. Like, I'm not even a <laughs> ring person. I don't wear rings. I don't like having things on me. Like, there's people who go to sleep with their jewelry. Like, wear yeah. necklaces. I can't. I don't like having things on me all the time. I cook a lot. I bake a lot. Whenever I'm cleaning, I always take my ring off for every little thing that I do. Yeah. In the shower, I take it off. So sometimes I just don't have it on. I have a little cute, um, what's it called? Little ring, ring holder. holder. My ring is there. I, I don't even I don't even like sleeping with my ring. Yeah. Like it's it's just uncomfortable to me. So every night I take it off. I or even tell you like, babe, can you put my ring on my ring holder yeah. before I go to sleep? Like. And then I wake up, sometimes I just forget to put it on. Like, some people just don't like wearing jewelry. And that's yeah. perfectly fine. Like, but when I'm going out, I like to put it on. I was going to say, that that's like the only, like, obviously you don't got to wear your ring in a house. 24-7. Yeah. My issue would be like, for example, like if she went to Chicago and didn't take her ring with her. Like, things like that. I feel like that is like a, a not only a fashion statement, but it's also like a symbol. You know okay, what but mean? what about you? You don't got no ring, so if you just be out here looking single. Buy me a two carat diamond, I'll wear that hoe. <laughs> so, <laughs> two buy carat me one. Diamond? Yeah, buy me one. Buy me you a two. two carat diamond? Two point six. Oh my that's, bad. Two that's point. That's pretty sexy. Buy me, like, buy me a, buy me a two. You point, want a whole engagement ring on your finger? Buy me a two point six carat diamond, and I will wear it. You ain't gotta worry about. But no, I definitely understand. And, I feel like um, that's so unfair when when a couple gets married or engaged, like. Oh yeah, you better wear that ring. Let people know you're taken. But the man don't gotta wear nothing, and you just look out here looking single. Bruh. Like, but me, I'm forced to wear my ring because God forbid if I look single to you. But how do you? No, it's different. It's different when the wedding rings come into place because yeah. that's the they're like really they're small. They don't get in the way. You I'll know what definitely I mean? always wear yeah, my yeah. wedding ring. But it's just a yeah, band. no, I I'm, I'm just trolling, baby. But um, <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't expect her to wear her. And I gotta go get this clean. Yeah. My, one of my diamonds is missing. Two of my diamonds is missing, actually. But yeah, just because someone is not wearing their engagement ring, y'all, it don't mean anything. Like like I said, all the reasons I just said, sometimes I just don't like wearing it. But when we go out, we're going out to dinner, I like to put it on. Yeah. I just forget sometimes. But once I get my wedding ring, that's definitely <laughs> staying on. Because it's like just a band. Yeah. You know? It's just, I mean, it's cute. When you get your wedding, like this is just something. <laughs> it's like cute. It's like I jewelry. actually think I might want to downsize. In the future, well, I mean, this gets caught on so. We'll get you. Many we'll get you another. Uh, different like setting to sit in. Or well, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. I mean, when you, you just get your wedding ring and you don't gotta wear that no more. No, what keep the that freak? keep that in a ring box, right? Are you crazy? Yeah. How expensive this was? Okay. As you want me to put it away in a box. It's gonna go down generations. Give that to our daughter. No, what? Yes. You, you're supposed to wear your engagement ring and your wedding. That's some bullshit. I knew that was gonna happen. <clears throat> All right. But anyways, yeah, that's the whole ring situation. Next thing is, did you guys quit YouTube? So, <laughs> all right. So it's it's so it's just weird. So <laughs> it's just weird. It's just weird. So we've been on the platform. I've been on the platform since 2016. So I've been on the platform for what's that? Nine years? Nine years? No. How was 2016? Nine years ago. Eight that's years. Crazy. Eight years. So I've been I've been on the platform specifically eight years. Um. You yourself has have been on a platform for six. We started YouTube six years ago, and you know we we built a community of people who love seeing us in love, <laughs> seeing us break each other's heart <laughs> via pranks, <laughs> via pranks, and make ourselves look stupid via challenges. It got to a point where we our fans grew with us, our supporters grew with us. They 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 got older as we got older. And as we got older, like the style of content that we were doing, it just became less appealing to us and mm -hmm. our viewers. You know, pranks are extremely, what is it called? Over it. It's like, yeah, it's just like over it. just over it. Challenges just aren't a thing no more. Like it, it's yeah. fun doing them, but it's like, what's fun? Like what? what's out there? What challenges out there? Vlogs, 
I feel like we just haven't been doing anything like exciting. Yeah. Like I just been training or we just been in the house chilling. Yeah. So it's like all of the type of content that we were doing is just like it just don't play into our life right like as of right now. Which is why he's been posting on his yeah. own individual ch channel. Me, I post here and there on my own channel like girl talk videos or like, you know, makeup stuff. Cause that's just what we've been doing. We haven't been doing real like couple stuff yeah. lately. And don't get me wrong, I would love to do more couple stuff. I we just grew out of the the content that we were doing. And it's hard to pivot. It's hard for us to pivot. That's why we want to pivot to like things like this, like just a little sit down. Yes. So we keep on saying we're gonna start it, no, but we, we have are. yet to invest no, in listen, the equipment. We are. So what I think our plan is is that we are going to make a new channel for our podcast. Might even just turn this channel to it, no. honestly. Okay. We are going to start a new channel, <laughs> a completely new channel, and have that be our podcast channel because I really like doing these sit down videos and just talking and, you know, having good conversations. So yeah. it's something we enjoy. And I feel like it's something that you guys liked when we did our first episode. So we are going to start a podcast channel and just talk about all things relationship, be honest, be real. Yeah. And yeah, just bring on stuff. bring on couple friends. Yeah. Uh, that's that's our plan. That'll be exciting. That's, so I think that's our next journey. We just gotta invest in the equipment. We just gotta get yeah. the equipment. That's gonna be our new journey. We are still going to have this channel. I yeah. feel like we'll post on here occasionally. Maybe when we actually have a family. Start like one yeah. Yes, yeah, that's, that's what I was, what gonna, I was gonna say. say. <laughs> Well, that's what I was going we're still to say. Gonna, we're still going to post on this. We're still going to post. Yeah. You guys will still see us on this channel. It's not like mm -hmm. we're just getting rid of the 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 whatever. Maybe do more food videos on here because, I mean, that's another form of like. Yeah. Y'all hmm. still will see us on this channel. We'll still post on here occasionally. And I feel like we'll really start posting a lot on here once we, you know, get married, start doing our just starting our life, starting our, yeah. our family. Yeah, because I feel like even our viewers, I wouldn't, like, I don't blame that a lot of viewers just kind of got tired of the same kind of content. Because we as the creators. They didn't get tired. Of, they actually keep asking, can you do this prank? Can you do this? Like, all yeah, they want to see is prank. the majority, majority of our viewers, you know, got tired of the same, like, kind of content. And us as creators, like, believe it. Like, most creators, when they do the same content for years... They start to grow out of it too, and what kind of keeps it around is the fact that it's still high in demand from their viewers. Yeah. But we've kind of like, I don't know. What we've been doing recently, a little life update. We just he just been focusing on his own craft with his boxing bro, and I've been, music. My coach been having me train five days. A I never week. see him. God damn, I bro. really never see this boy. He. Yeah, you do. Yeah, no, I don't. Well, okay, okay, no, I listen. Don't. It's because our sleep schedules, bro. Like she. Well, you're better now. You're a lot better now. Good job. I'm <laughs> proud of you. But for the longest, you got to understand, like... He trains five times a week, y'all. Yes. And Are, we got so, into so, a little oh, no, argument. Here we go. Here we go. Let me, let me, let me, let me tell, let okay. me tell the situation. You okay. me? So, long story short, I say, like, for, for a long minute, both of our sleep schedules were wrecked, bro. Like, we were going to sleep at, like, 5 a.m., not waking up till, like, 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I train at 6. So, we will wake up at 3 go get some food, and I got to get ready an hour before I go to train because I got to get dressed and then drive there. Boom. So get up at three, eat. It's already four by the time we get done eating. We only got an hour to spend time to, together before I got to leave. We literally only had one hour yeah. together every day. And then I went to train. I train at six don't to nine. I don't 10. get home till 9.30. I've never... I think there was probably only once that I got home at 10, and that's because I stayed back and was talking. Cap, cap, cap. The gym cap, closes cap, at cap. 9, and we're cap, only 30 bro. minutes away. I was only home outside. at 10. They used to be yapping, I guess. I was only home at 10 because I stayed outside for 30 minutes talking business. Anyway. With my coach. I'm not done I'm not done telling them my story. We would only have an hour, then I'll come home around like 9.30, take a shower. I'll be done like taking a shower and everything probably by like a little after 10. And then that's when we finally get and then he'd be together. dead tired but we and was, go to sleep. No, no. Well, now you we, do. Now I do. Now, every time he gets home from training, he'd be dead tired and he'd be wanting to go to sleep like ASAP. Yeah. So I only see him for like a little bit when he gets home. And then he's sleeping. I'm up all night. By well, myself. I mean, I go to sleep around like, I've been going to sleep around like midnight to one o'clock. So now it's a little different. Now it's like, I've been waking up in the morning. I wake up around like nine o'clock. 
you won't wake up till like noon. So 11, 12. Yeah. Even better. So then now we'll get a whole like six hours together before I go to train and then come home, watch a few, watch a movie or some TV shows and we crash. Training has definitely been taking a toll on me. I'm not going to But yeah, so my man want to be a boxer. He's trying to, he's been training for it. And that's been his main focus, working on music, a lot of good music, y'all. So much good music. Oh, my God. Can't wait for y'all <laughs> nah, to my, hear. No, my newer songs are fire, bro. I don't know. I just got, like, this weird little, like, jolt of, like, It's because I told you to be, na be nasty yeah. in your songs. So I'm a fucking thanks to freak. Me, thanks to me, y'all. Y'all gonna get some heat. Be more grown. Get oh, some yeah. grown music out. Be on your Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm about to be 26 in, like, two you weeks, scared? bro. You be like, scared to... I just had to take the Band-Aid off. Because... Yeah. Yeah, he's just been focusing on his stuff. Me, I've just been chilling. She be playing. <laughs> don't sit here. I like, no, don't do that to me. They're not sponsored, so we're not mentioning them in this video. But that's just... Anyways, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're not going to sit here and make sense. I just don't be doing absolutely nothing with my life except playing. No. Me, I haven't been doing much, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you want to break your chair, bro? Chill. <laughs> Why you just? <laughs> why you just get so weak? Because you said no. You're not gonna make it seem like I haven't been doing much. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, I haven't been doing much. <laughs> Cause you can't say it. I can't. Look, I just I've been trying to get my mental right. Okay, you put me through a lot. We've been going through a lot. You put me through a lot too. No, no. So yeah, I've just been trying to. We're dealing with, with um stuff with our family and right now. You know what I'm saying. So like we just been. Just trying to, you know, move side. Mm. Trying to, we're finally getting back into the yeah. groove of things. I am. When we when we hit our dark point, and when you went to Chicago, I mean, you know this, yeah. but I wrote a song, and I was like bawling my eyes out <laughs> while recording that song. The whole song, I even started screaming at the end, bro. You only heard the song one time, and then you started bawling, crying when you heard I don't it too. Yeah, I don't want to. And then it again. We, we've never played you're it being again. Because you're being negative in the song. Like, why would you make a song? You don't want me, you don't want me to leave and you want to still be with me, but you, yeah, you want to make a, a, a song to make things worse? No, it didn't make things yes, worse. Yes, yes, because in the song, it was a, a negative break, like a breakup song. It wasn't a breakup song. The song it was said, talking about. What? Go ahead. Go you, ahead. The song was titled 1 a.m. You know why? Why? Because it was 1 a.m. when we had that conversation. <laughs> so creative. <laughs> so creative. <laughs> it was 1 a.m. when we had that conversation and it, you said you want to. You gotta find yourself. And the chorus was like, say you gotta find yourself. Well, I hope you find yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it was a breakup. I just quoted what you said. Okay, what about the rest of the lyrics? You ever play it? No, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Let, let's listen to it. You haven't listened to this in like a I'm gonna a cry, year and a half. baby. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna play it. No. I'm Wait, gonna play it. No, cause for real, I'm gonna cry. That's okay. We're about to end the video anyway. I'm really gonna cry. Uh, I'm gonna probably cry too. Babe, why are you trying to cry? You would always tell me. You would always I'm tell me everything. Right I haven't heard this song in forever too. Why you still have it? Delete it. Right, it I'm was negative. It, it actually wasn't. It was me like. Look, my makeup's weird. It was, it was pretty much just me journaling. It was me journaling. Let me hear it. Come on. The song's actually fire though. I would always tell you everything I got. That's facts. <laughs> like you can hear that I was crying. I think it's just confused with a different song. What song? Another song. I think from a, I was just picturing this song. Yeah, no, this song was literally just me journaling. I was picturing journaling. the other song. I was just literally journaling like our conversation, bro. It was a different song. If it was a different song, it was probably just like a... No, it was when we were going through it. 
For real? I've never wrote. This yes. is the first song I no. actually wrote that. Like, it was no, uh, no, no, no. I remember. I think I have it actually. For real? Yeah. Let me look. Oh wait. You know what I'm talking about? Like a rap video? No, it's the actual song. Yeah, find that. <clears throat> you don't hear the part when I screamed? Oh, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> was bad as fuck. <laughs> is it safe? No. You love safe. Oh, no, this is the one where I would cry when I yeah. heard it. What about Why Not Stay? Was it that one? Why Not Stay? No, Why Not Stay was a... No, I don't know which one. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm talking I'm about. Not, I've never wrote... That was the first song I actually wrote because that was the first time we actually, like... Damn near broke up. <laughs> that was the first time I ever did that. Oh, okay. Well, I wrote songs that was like inspired by like arguments and stuff. But anyways, next topic. <laughs> and what is the next topic? Kids. Kids. I'm. We about to have those things soon. But I want. I, I asked her if we could get pregnant on our anniversary in a few bruh. days. So I, I'm gonna <laughs> leave it up to her. <laughs> in a few days, can we get pregnant? Listen. I'm ready, bro. Like I'm 20. I'm about to be 26 this okay, month. Okay, but it, it's not about all about you, though. I know it's about us. Why would we want to bring a kid into something that is still where we got to work on us? I don't want to bring a kid into an unstable environment. So I want to make sure we are at a really good place where we know exactly what's going on, what's happening with us, where we, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So you can't be thinking about a kid. Yeah. Happy kid, home, happy kid. So if our home is happy, if we're happy. As parents, yes, our kid of is going to be happy and as a kid. And if we're not happy as, as in a relationship, or we bring a kid into this, that kid ain't going to know how to be happy in their relationship. Our kid is going to suffer. Exactly. Of us. So that's why we got to be exactly. happy in our relationship so our kid know how to be happy in a relationship. No, just be happy, period. We got to be a good role model for and our child. And just be happy, period, because I'm not bringing a kid into a broken home, into a broke, and I'm not going, listen. I've been, learn I've been learning how to fix things. <laughs> <laughs> listen. So basically, all together, y'all, we just answer all of the questions like, mm -hmm. are we still together? Are we, or did we break up? Um, are we quitting YouTube? What's going on with us? Life update, wedding, kids. Basically, we just answer everything. We was going through it. We're good now. Oh, and something else. Um, I just want you to address it because, I mean, I, obviously I know, but what? they don't know. People think when you make tweets, you're oh talking about me. God. <laughs> That. No, I see, no, I no, see the comment. I see the comment. There was follow like, follow me on Twitter, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> don't follow her on Twitter because you're gonna always think that people think everything you post is directly related to you. I know who she was talking about in her. It was like a recent tweet. Like really? I should have got out of something. Oh, my loyalty kept me in places. Yeah, yeah that was a bar. Who, talking, who are you talking about? Just in general. Oh, I thought I knew who you were talking about. <laughs> I guess not. It's just general statements. Like, y'all just take... People take things on the internet way too serious. Like, Yeah, she just be tweeting, bro. Like, she just I be... be no, I be dropping gems. That's what bro, I be Bro, she doing. got a notepad of a whole bunch of, like, bars that she will just copy and paste onto Twitter, like, That's every not true. Days. I thought she said you... I, yes, you did. I've never done that. What is that caption? That's captions oh. for Instagram, <laughs> stupid. Yeah, but when she just I be tweet, posting her captions on I Twitter. When I tweet, I just... It just come right off the dome, and I just be tweeting. You should be a rapper. Yeah, yeah. Cause I be dropping gems for real. Speaking of rappers, she's about to be rapping in my upcoming song called Peekaboo. 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 It's a nasty song. Yeah. Y'all want me to tell you what the cover is gonna be? Should I tell them what the cover is gonna be? What is it gonna be? Yeah. It's know. gonna be her legs open and me with a fork and a spoon and a bib that says Peekaboo on it. This is gonna be hard. Oh my mama. Anyways, um, basically, wrap everything up. We wasn't posting. We wasn't around because. We had to get right, and we're good now. Yeah. And we're just going to continue to work on our relationship, work on us. The devil can't get to us. Oh, yeah. I meant to say this earlier. For the longest, when you guys see us go ghost on, like, YouTube and everything, like, if you see us go ghost on everything, nine, nine times out of ten is because we were, like, really going through shit, and we didn't want to film. Um, we just not and yeah like who's even yeah, thinking about filming could, when your your life is literally being turned upside down yeah thinking about moving out and getting separate places and all like no one's thinking about filming you know what i'm yeah. saying like and then uh, over time you if know, it was a fake couple then yeah we would be yeah filming. we would yeah now but, we so trust me when <laughs> trust trust us when we say every time you guys see us poke our face out there we're good like if you guys <laughs> see us post a video if you guys see us post a reel a story together, a picture together, 
we're good because we're not we're not posting. I'm not posting nothing with her if I'm mad at her. That's not true. You could be posting me when you're so mad with the freak. This was probably only because we already took the picture. <laughs> and I was mad at you that day. And I'm like, you're silly. Might as well post the picture. But yeah, so we just wanted to make this video and like just be real with y'all. Like, we always like, oh, well, we were just, no, like, we, we gave y'all the real today. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all yeah. know. So now y'all know how deep in the trenches. Damn, I even, I even, is. I even played a song that she has not heard in over a year and a half. <laughs> but yeah, so we just wanted to give y'all basically a huge life update, address all the rumors, address all the, the conspiracies and yeah we just gave y'all the real today we cried i can't believe i cried like that <laughs> oh my gosh but yeah so um we're happy we're together always surprise i guess i don't know <laughs> <laughs> and we're ready to get our life started together yeah and just oh i wanna i wanna i wanna so I, i'm Baby, okay. we're just no hold about. on so Let's talk about let's talk about podcast names real quick because oh you God. didn't like the one that I, I I came up with, but it's so tough to me. So this is this is the podcast name I thought about, and I think it's so dope. But because we're gonna talk about like relationship stuff, right? Like relationship issues, uh, you know, complications in relationships, life shit that goes on in within different couples and stuff, right? Yeah. So just like I came up with the the name Basic, but I like, like it. but like but like this, like Bay. So like that's my bay and it's sick. Like I'm sick no, of my bay. That's so not. hard. Like basic, mm -mm. basic podcast, bro. It sounds like it's tough. That's catchy, man. Hold on. What about this one? Together talk. No. Like okay. What about? I just feel like we right could, beside. I just feel like we could come up with something better. <laughs> that's so. That's so tough though. Basic. I love that. Like I can already see the logo. It's tough. I have a capital S I C K. No. Capital. We'll come up with something better. Well, let me know. But, if, let me know if y'all like that in the comment because I like that. But anyways, we are gonna close this out. We yeah. love y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Nice raw and just I guess just not straight to the point. But uh, yeah, we love y'all. We out. See y'all in the next one. Basic. They be doing it like this, man. Basic. Bruh. Basic. We can do that at the no. end. No. Basic. No. All right. Bye. <laughs>